know who needs to hear this, but you're not going to become the next YouTube star if you don't actually get out of your own way and create and post the content for the people to see. Like, it's just not going to happen. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you that the rumors are not true. It's not oversaturated and why you should be starting your YouTube channel today because it could literally change your life. Let's get into it. Everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiara. I create content right here on YouTube. And as stated before, I'm going to be telling you why you should start your channel today, right now. Not waiting. I know it's in the back of your mind. You've probably thought about it. And this is the time to take action because no time is like the present. And I am a true believer that you don't get what you want. You get what you believe. So if you believe it, you just got to put a little work in it to make it happen. So let's get into it. This little brown bear is Charlie. She looks a mess. She's getting groomed. Don't judge her. The first reason on why you need to be starting your YouTube channel is because you are literally learning and honing a skill that people get paid to have. Whenever you decide that you're going to become a content creator or a YouTuber, whatever you want to call it, you're going to be wearing many hats because let's face it, you probably don't got the money, you probably don't have the resources, and you're just going to have to wear the hats. And whenever you are creating videos on YouTube, you are literally the actor, the executive producer, you are the videographer, you are the scripter, the music score, the editor. You're all of these things in one. Like you wear so many hats, you're literally learning a skill and I wanna hone on specifically into editing. If you were to go to look at the very first video that I ever uploaded on YouTube to the latest upload, you would see the tremendous change just in my editing. Like, I don't know what I was doing. One of your hangups that you may be having is like, I don't have all the equipment, I don't have a camera, I don't have mics, I don't have this, I don't have that. Babe, I started off with my iPhone. And it was a crappier version of the iPhone. But I got with it. I did what I needed to do and I used the free little app of iMovie and I made it happen. Because your first mindset should just be uploading. So you need to be focusing on honing on your skills, creating value worthy or like exciting, engaging content to where whenever you finally find your audience, because they are out there. You don't have to create this audience out of thin air. The people are already there. There are so many people, billions of people on this platform. All you have to do is create the content for them to find it. So what your focus should be is honing in on your skill, getting better. My mindset whenever I'm uploading a video is that I just want to do something. I want to make the next one better than the last. Let's move on to the next points. I don't even know if this next point can be considered a skill per se, but you are going to be building so much confidence and you're gonna be building so much mental toughness because baby, this stuff is not for the weak. It's not for the weak at all. Whenever you think about it, you're literally going against the grain and putting yourself out there for the world like to view, critique, whatever. One, you have to be tough because whenever you're starting out, like the numbers are not gonna match up where you're thinking in your head. Of course, we're all like, gonna be like, this is an amazing content. This is the best video that I've ever uploaded. And whenever you upload it, you might not see the numbers that you want. It happens to the best of it. Or maybe you'll have a video that goes viral and then you're thinking, okay, this is my next one. It's gonna be like even bigger. And then it flops. You have to be tough and you have to have resilience and you have to keep going because majority of the people on this platform did not make it overnight it takes time it takes patience and it takes a lot of resiliency and perseverance and you have to be in it for the right reason if you're in it to make a quick buck or to get famous or because all of those things seem fun and you probably have your own favorite youtubers like my favorite youtubers are like Aaliyah's face um kyra omnique and i see the lifestyle that they're living and i'm like oh my god that i want that to be me but they didn't start out that way like they had to put in the work they had to um grind and hustle and show up for themselves and show up for their community and that's why they're as successful as they are today and you have to have that same type of mindset as well like you have to put in the work Plus, whenever you are putting yourself out there, when I say you have to have mental toughness, like with the good comes the bad. With the community comes the trolls and they are going to come out and their sole purpose in life is just to be haters. They are going to hate on you. They're going to tell you how trash you are, how stupid you are, how ugly you are, like what you're doing is stupid, it's cringy, this and third. And you just have to block it and keep on moving because why do you care at the end of the day what a faceless account has to say? Like they don't even have the balls to show up on the internet as their actual self and they have so much to say about what you're doing 
we don't know what they're doing. People who just like troll and have so much nastiness to say, clearly their life isn't amazing because people who are actually happy, who are thriving and having um, wonderful lives aren't sitting on the internet just trolling and being rude and nasty to people. So like you have to build mental toughness. Do not let that get you down. Like who cares what they think? There are going to be so many people, your friends and your family who may not understand like what you're doing, what you're trying to do, or they might think that it's cringy and that's okay because cringy is out here paying the bills. Cringy is out here changing lives lives but this is where I want you to have the confidence to correct or stop people from talking negatively about your goals and your dreams because you shouldn't let someone and this is like not a knock or I don't want people to take this the wrong way whenever I say this but this is not a knock or to be nasty but why would you take life advice, especially from someone who probably has never gone after a goal, never gone after their dream job or life because of whatever reason, because life society told them that they should just do this and stay content with it? Why would you take advice from people like that? So may you, your family may not be watching your videos. Your friends may not be watching your videos. That's okay. Continue to post. Continue to do what you're going to do. You have to promote yourself and put it out there. And just keep in mind quality, quality, quality. What am I doing that's going to be bringing um, some type of entertainment, some type of education, inspiration, motivation? What am I doing that's going to be providing value to the viewer and continue to push through and create your content? Keep pushing. Keep growing. Keep posting. Do you, babe? Because it's going to pay off. You just have to keep that mindset. Don't let anybody ever talk about downplay or anything like that on your goals and your dreams. Okay, and the next point, like we've been talking about it a lot, like you have the potential to change your lives, but I feel like the even bigger blessing or like joy is that you have the potential to change or be influential or aspirational, motivational, someone else's life. Like the whole point of this is to be forming a community. First off, like it's already like mind blowing to me that just last year I was struggling to get to a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Like I was struggling. I was like, oh my God, is it ever going to happen? And I finally had one video to really hit the algorithm and take off. And then I was able to get the followers and get the 4,000 watch hours to become monetized. And now to see me sitting at to present day, like, I don't even know. Let me check. It's at 6,287 subscribers. Like, that is mind-blowing to me that I was struggling just last year to have a 1,000 and now have almost, like, 6,300 subscribers. Like, 6,300 subscribers has, like, seen my videos or in some type of form, and I feel in community. And it's so cool whenever someone will see you on, a, like, say, YouTube, and then they'll, like, send you a message on IG. They'll follow you on TikTok, like, hey, I saw you on YouTube. I saw you on IG. I saw you on TikTok. And I just wanted to say I love your content. Like, whenever you talked about X, Y, and Z topic, like, it really resonated with me. And I found it to be motivational. Like, that shit, like, oh, my God, it brings me so much joy. I think that is important. It's the community building it's to it's just the living your life and someone finding some type of value and benefit in it or like engaging in discourse opening you up to other explanations and possibilities like that is the stuff that I love so yeah all of the extra like the AdSense and like the possible brand deals and things like that all of that is amazing but just engaging in forming community is where I think you should be like focusing on because people's like mindsets and their attention spans are like as quick as like five seconds boom 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 and the fact that you are creating like someone is watching your video deciding to comment or to leave that platform to go to another platform such as IG to send you a DM talking about how your video made them feel XYZ and they can't wait to see what you create the next come on like and the fact that i get to engage and talk to and get to know and like see engage with their content or their lives like people from many walks of life different cities different states different countries 
it's so mind-blowing to me so yeah and always in the back of your mind it needs to be your community creating content for your community of course you're going to be creating content for new viewers and subscribers but it shouldn't be like always ads 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 like trying to sh like sell trying to shove something down their throat or whatever you need to be like whenever you're building community it is like building trust it is like building a bond a friendship some type of kinship that is so 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 important that's what's going to help with the longevity of your channel and your content like you want that to be always in the back of your mind and you cannot be complaining about it now like I know and I sometimes like I have to check my Yourself as well like you can't be complaining about workload and things like now like I'm still struggling to find like work-life balance especially having a full-time and doing this part-time but whenever you actually want something you make it happen so if this is what you truly want like you're going to make um, time for it and if you can't like figure it out right now whenever like you're a small channel what are you gonna do whenever you finally do blow up baby because like I said you don't get what you want, you get what you believe. If you believe that you're going to be the next YouTube star, babe, your community is going to be counting on the vlogs. If you say you post every Sunday, you need to have a video every Sunday. So you need to get in the habit. You don't rise to the occasion. You prepare for it. I remember, like, I don't know what YouTuber was. I wish I could, like, I could probably, like, find the clip or whatever. But she said that it's taken her a while to get to the point to like where she is now she like blew up like that video blew up she had a whole catalog of content so keep posting you might not be getting the engagement now like i have a video on my channel where i had posted it months ago and it didn't get picked up or took off and this one until like months i want to say like six or seven months later and now it's like one of my most like high viewing videos so keep going don't get discouraged and try to work on a work-life balance and having like some type of schedule right now while you're small so that you already are like creating that muscle memory in the future whenever you do take off because baby we gonna be we gonna be popping if you made it this far in the video thank you so much i really appreciate it it really does help my channel i hope you found this video to be somewhat inspirational motivational or found some type of value and if you enjoy this video let me go ahead and slide over because i know you'll probably enjoy my other type of content that i create here on this platform like go ahead and click it go ahead i know you want to i know you ain't got nothing else that you could be doing all right bye